He's number 38, Fitz Lassing. A starter on the Vanderbilt football team for three years. His position, fullback. I'd say it's probably about 80% blocking. You run into people a lot and that's just part of the game. You learn to love it. But Fitz's football career took a hit last fall. He got sick, nausea and extreme stomach cramps just weeks before the first game. Uh, over time, I think he would have eventually lost all function of that kidney. Team urologist Duke Carroll says tests showed the connector from Fitz's right kidney to his bladder wasn't working, causing a backup in his kidney, slowly destroying it. It needed to be fixed. Instead of cutting through the abdomen with the typical tools, Harrell used tools the width of a pencil, the smallest ever used for kidney reconstruction surgery. It's a technique he pioneered at Vanderbilt. In surgery like this, Harrell repaired the kidney problem using a camera through a small hole to see his work. And we did all of this, in essence, on the inside of his body using only two openings for small instruments, three millimeter instruments, and a small uh, port that was really hidden in his belly button. Dr. Harrell? Hey Fitz, how are you? Fitz was out of the hospital the next day and back to light workouts within two weeks. Can I take a look at your yeah. decisions here? The only external evidence of the surgery, three almost invisible scars. Just six weeks after the surgery, Fitz was back playing for the black and gold. No, no pain, felt totally normal. After the first couple of hits, I really didn't think about it anymore. Love Fitz Lassen. Uh, he's been a really good player. He's been a multiple year starter for us. Parents want to know that their kids are going to be in great hands. And when you have one of the world's finest hospitals right here on our, our campus, that's great for us in recruiting. For Fitz Lassing, the microsurgery pioneered at Vanderbilt helped keep him playing the game he loves. For ViewCast, I'm Barb Kramer.